Hey guys, it's your boy Michael with the H&M Reviews channel and today we're going to show you how to take your very short portable jumper cables and make them extra long the safe way. Okay, let's get into it guys. Okay, this is off of the Fox PG29. It's only about 9 inches they give you of wire and that's way too short because everybody has a hard time you know, like hooking up their cables. So what I did was I bought the exact same wiring this is an 8 gauge 200C. I bought it online. I think it was like $17.95 for 5 foot of the red and 5 foot of the black. Okay? And we're going to do this the correct way. Okay? We're going to use flux, the soldering iron, the whole nine. Okay? And this has to be a little frayed out a little bit because you want to intertwine. You're supposed to intertwine them together, you know, really nicely. Intertwine them. I'm just trying to twist it all up. Okay, boom. a little bit tighter. It's not as tight as I like it. Okay. Now, as you can see, this is how you want it, just like that. I don't know if you can see, let's zoom in a tiny bit more. Okay, see, it? see how it is? And we're working on our helping hands, obviously, just to help us out when we have no hands. Okay, it's going to look like this, you know. And also what you do, uh, rub some flux on it, okay? Flux, use flux, it'll really work out well, you know? I bought the whole kit, the soldering iron, I think it was like $49.95. Let's put a little bit of flux on this guy. I put some on a little bit before time, just a little bit, you know. Bear with me, guys. For the positive cable side. Hopefully it works good. Okay. Okay, here it is. See right here? Oh, God. All right. I guess it's hot. Eh, a little bit warm, but not bad. Not bad. Okay, now let me just, um... Give me a second. Okay. Now, obviously, look at the size of that cable now. You know, it's, it's about, uh, it's got to be about three feet now. Got to be. Got to be. And I don't want to overdo it. Oops. Bear with me. See, it's purchased online, like I said. And, uh, yeah. So it's not like I'm putting it. A different kind of wire on because I would never do that. I'm putting on the exact wires that it calls for. Okay, now let's just put this out. Let's put this out. I soldered them, flux soldered, and now you got about three feet worth of jump starting cable. We are going to go outside and see if it actually jump starts our 2004 V8. Part two of the extended portable jumper starter cable. We all know that the portable jump starter cables are just too short. <laughs> I mean, if you have a hard to reach battery, uh, the chances are you're not gonna reach it with these, you know, like like little eight inch cable they have. Not, see, this is the old style cable, okay? And what I did was I soldered, I flux, I did it all. I, there's the positive. We are simulating a dead battery. So this is not connected to the battery. It's only connected to the cables, as we see. So this is a real test. Okay, this is the Fox PG29. Okay, there's three foot cables on each side. Like I said, we've been hearing for years now that that you can't do it this way because it'll fry the jump starter, it'll fry your battery. It won't be enough power, it won't be, it'll be too little power. So once and for all, let's see if this will work, okay? First, let's see if what happens when we Put the module in, see if it even can read, because if it doesn't even read, there's no sense in even using it, because then it can work. And it's reading. 15.9 is a good sign. Module's on. No sparks, no fire, God forbid. Still reading. You hear, hear everything? See if it'll start. I do have the key already over here somewhere. Oops, I think I may have timed out. The car started up on the first shot, guys. First shot. First shot. 
Look at that. Look at that. 14, 15 volts. Look at this, guys. Guys, look at this. Look how big the cables are, guys. Three foot each one. All the way out here. Look at it. All the way. Oh, no, one of the wires just popped off. <laughs> one of the cables. I was pulling on it a little too hard. But yeah, um, that's pretty cool, huh? And yes, the wires are warm. Not even hot. They're warm. So, yeah, that, that should tell you. All right. Okay, let's actually shut the car off for a second, okay? For a second. Okay. Yeah, we used the Fox PG29 as an example because I didn't want to do it on one of the, you know, most my most expensive ones first. This is this is the cables most of our units come with nowadays. You know, what is it? it's probably about five inches of black and about seven inches of red, maybe. Now, I soldered and fluxed. I wanted to give these cables the best chance to work. Obviously it works. <laughs> See? Now we know. And I am going to do it on a Hulkman, on the NOCO. I'm going to do it again. But these wires are 8 gauge 200C. That's, that's the wires that come with these. Uh, automatically. And that's the exact wires I put on these jumper starters. I bought the exact wire. The 8 gauge 200C. You know. And now you could, you know, you could. Tch. Sky's the limit. Alright, guys, it's your boy Michael again with the HM Reviews channel. It is nighttime now. We uh, killed the battery. I purposely killed the battery. I left the lights on. Let's see how much power is in our battery here. Okay. Okay, here's the clamp is on the negative and what do we have 10.6 volts 10.5 oops sorry uh, 10.5 try it again yeah, 10.6 actually let's I don't know if it'll start I mean we could try it we do have the fox speed set up with the extra long three foot cables on each side like I showed you before, this is the extender cable, I'm calling it. Yeah, let's see if the car starts. It's got 10.6 volts. It shouldn't start, but you never know. You know, this car has done crazier things. Yeah, I had the, um, I had the... Okay, there it is. Nothing. Okay, you hear the chime, but that's it. Nothing. Okay. Now, I showed you before that that the Fox PG29 extended the the reach from like five-inch cables to three-foot cables. See, as we know, they're they're gigantic now. I soldered them, like I said before. So I gave it a really good test, okay? So let's see if it'll start now, now that there's a little power in there, okay? Okay, everything is hooked, okay? Now we're gonna start them up. And if you look, if you look, it did say, what, nine? Okay, yeah. Okay, let's do it, you ready? Everything's clicking, let's go. Let's see if the Cadillac will start. Ow. Okay. First shot, see? This car started on the first shot. This is with my new and improved three foot cables. The car started up on the first shot. You see, there's no fire going on, there's no sparks going on. It is showing 13.5 volts are in there. See? The wires are not even warm. Awesome, huh? Now let me shut the... I'm gonna actually shut the light off. Well, first I want to put the... Okay, let's put the... Let's shut this light off. Okay, see, now we could use our unit. Turn it over. You can see what we're doing. 
See, this one is good because this actually has the flashlight and the module on the same side. That's how it should be. But now, if the flashlight was on the other side, now at least we could turn it over and there'd be enough room to use your flashlight. I just wanted to show you guys that. Cool, let's shut the light off. Perfect. All right. Still, 13.4. Turn the light back on. Okay, 13.4 volts it's showing. Cables are cold to lukewarm. Okay. And usually you don't want to, you know, when you jump start a vehicle, you want to shut the car off immediately after it jumps. I'm going to shut the car off. Okay. See guys, this test was just to prove to you guys that you can indeed extend your cables if you wanted to make them a little longer. I mean, the cables we had before, I think they were, um, I think it was, uh, you know, like, I think the black cable was like four inches and the positive cable I think was like six inches. But now they're like three feet. Each one is three feet, which is remarkable because now you could reach those hard to reach batteries. You could put the jump starter far away from where you're, you know, look, look at that. All the way down, three feet. And it's very safe. No fires, no sparks came out, no nothing came out. I want to try the reverse polarity again with the three foot cables. Okay, I put the, the reverse connection. <laughs> and you see, it's actually picking up that, it's a reverse connection. The audible, you hear it? It says reverse connection, I think, or reverse. Awesome. So obviously our cables are a success, guys. Our long cables, the, and this will work probably on, on any jump starter, guys. Any jump starter, this will probably work. But, like I said in my last, um, wait, in the last part, I said I just wanted to see on a cheaper model. I mean, I'm not calling Fox Speed a cheap, cheap model. But I wanted to do, I wanted to do this test on a, a cheaper unit to extend the cables. I didn't want to do it on my Hulkman 10.0 or my Noco GB70 or the Gulu GT4000. Just in case it did not work, I didn't want to be out cables you know but yeah here's what they look like now like i said i soldered the joints before the wires together i fluxed them i put a little bit of electric tape around it electrical tape to give it some protection i did not have any heat shrink tubing but but still as you can see it's it's safe it's very safe yeah i mean guys <laughs> it works you can extend your cables but i don't I don't recommend extending them too much because too much is probably no good even though we've heard that in the past that you can't extend them at all but obviously you can extend them a little bit this is about two and three quarters to three feet I believe it's three feet of red and three feet of black this is eight gauge 200 C wire just like the jumper cables are made with can you I mean, is that awesome or what? Three foot. Awesome. And the wires, like I showed you guys, were minimally even warm. Not even really lukewarm. You know, I wanted to keep the car on for a couple minutes just to see how hot the wires got. Because, you know, we've heard all the stories. <laughs> I'm probably the first one. Because, like I said, I've been looking for months and months and months and months and I have not seen anybody else extend their cables okay but hearing all the hoopla in the past that you can't do it that's why they make them so short this and that i wanted to put that to the test because i knew there had to be some you know something to that because that didn't make sense to me okay and as we saw the wires did not get super hot the three foot ex extended wires did not get super hot after i kept the car running for a little while after i jumped it everything worked out fine all right, so again, guys, this is Michael with the H&M Reviews channel. Stay true to one another, shake your neighbor's hand, and click that subscribe button. Click all so you never miss an upcoming video, guys. All right, peace out.
drop me a comment. You will be winning, or somebody will be winning a portable jump starter soon. Keep listening, it's coming. Peace out.